Hey guys, it's Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews with Rajendex Airboss Core Edition. Now, why is this the Core Edition? Because it simply does not come with a fan and it's black, which is quite cool. So, it's sealed on the box, have specifications. Basically, what you need to know is that it's 160 millimeters. I don't know what it says on this box. Yeah, 160 millimeters tall without the fan. Most cases with a 120 millimeter in the back will support it, but the normal Aeroboss, that one has a 140 millimeter fan, so it won't fit most cases. It's the same price as the usual. Uh, the reason I bought this one was one, the fitment issue, uh, but more importantly, because it's black and it looks really, really nice. And you, as far as I'm aware, you can't actually buy the, uh, the black version with a fan. Also the stock fan, the way you install it, it's with these rubber thingies. Wasn't a fan of it. Uh, I made the PC for a friend once. He wasn't a fan of that rubber mount either. Um, it still includes them. So if you have a Rajintech, one of those tin fans, you can still use them. But it also comes with metal brackets. Uh, I showed installation in the previous video I did on this cooler. I'll link that in the description, in the description so you guys can see how you install it and I, then I don't have to refilm it. Uh, but it's a single plastic bracket, metal brackets for the front of the board and the term, thermal paste is in a little bag, not in a tube, which I think is quite sad. Um, but it's all toolless, everything's toolless. But the previous one, installation was quite difficult because uh, someone forgot to send me a screwdriver. It's now included in the box. Nice long screwdriver. You know, they can come in handy, even if you don't want to use it for this particular one. So, the box is also smaller and soft foam. Why do I love soft foam? Case manufacturers don't like soft foam um, for some reason. Probably because it's really expensive foam. Um, but it should keep... Oh my god. Oh my god. It's even blacker than... I thought it was just anodized, but look at this. Oh my god, I love this. Um, even the heat pipes are black. This is really cool. The contact plate, that's just... I don't... I'm not gonna pull it off. I'm just quickly gonna grab my, my uh, S340 because I want to show you something. Alright, so this is the, the side panel on the S340. It's the exact same black. I love this. I'm, I bought this one to put in the S340. This is gonna look bonkers. And then you have, you know, Dizzy Rascal farting into a microphone. Um, but yeah, so the, the top hole is there. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in, see how it performs, then put a fan on and see how it performs with a fan on because it's quite a chunky piece of metal. We saw in the previous video I did on the Aeroballs that it performs really, really good, especially because it's only 35 euros, which makes it very, very budget friendly actually. Um, so I'm pretty sure you can just run this one passively because I already run it passively in another computer with an i7 and this one, in this build, we'll be using a Xeon E3 um, 2131V3. So it should keep everything nice and cool, even without a fan. But if you want to, you can put the fan on. All right, guys, conclusion time on the Aeroboss Core Edition. Is it any good? Of course it's good. It looks amazing. Uh, 35 euros is not a lot of money. Now, it doesn't come with a fan, but it does come with two uh, sets of fan mounts which are actually better than the fan mounts you get with the normal Aeroboss which is the same price but comes with a larger fan that's quite loud, doesn't move a lot of air and is poorly attached with rubber thingies. They still include the rubber thingies though uh, as well so that's cool. And then something I forgot to show in the, uh, the unboxing, it comes with rubber anti-vibration strips. So that's really good. And then it's black, it fits amazingly in a black case. So I'm really happy with the way this PC turned out, so everything looks really good. Um, performance wise, I tested the Aeroboss quite some time ago. Uh, all you have to know really is that it's more than good enough. I mean, seriously, it's more than good enough. It'll beat most of the single radiator air coolers, you know, the thinner ones of course. Um, and then when you don't put a fan on it, it's completely noiseless, so perfectly silent. And this PC at the moment has a single fan running in it. Um, a 3.6 GHz quad core with hyper threading, uh, a Xeon, and we're getting 59 degrees was the hottest any bit got with the, the thermal paste. And the thermal paste uh, is always something I like to nag a bit about because it's in a, a bag and I prefer syringes because to me they're easier and when you're done with it they don't leave a massive mess everywhere because you can't close them up anymore. Um, so that's something I would like to see Ryzen Tech change about this cooler, but that's pretty much the only thing negative about it. 
It's very affordable, performs extremely well even without a fan. Um, when you put a fan on it, it performs even better of course. And uh, yeah, guys, if you like the video, press the like button. If you dislike the video, press the dislike button. Leave a comment, share this video with your friends. You can help us out on Patreon if you want to, um, but I'll never actually charge for these videos. It just helps get me better equipment, which then gives you guys better videos. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching.